behavior I want you to try to practice with Buddy is teaching him how to sit. Um, he's got a really good sit already, but I'll show you a couple of different, couple of different sort of phases of training this. At first, don't say anything. I want to see it. I want to. I want you to find out how quickly he's going to sit on his own. So you're going to take a piece of food and bring it slightly above his head. Not really high, just a little bit, so he looks up a little bit and the bottom goes down. Um, so you're going to show him that food and you're going to just bring it up. Good sit. Okay. Do that a handful of times. No cue. Cue command, same thing. Good sit. So once he's consistently putting that bottom on the ground just by following food, then you can start using a verbal cue, sit. Do not repeat it. Just don't do it. People have a tendency of repeating themselves. Try not to. Okay, so then food in hand. Sit. Good, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Okay. One more time. Sit. Good, sit. And if you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm saying the cue for sit at the same time that I'm raising that treat a little bit above his head. Sit. Good sit. Now, if you notice there, he took a long time to put that bottom on the ground, but I didn't say it again. I kept my hand in that position and made him kind of think it out. So that's what I want you to do. That's your two bits of homework. Sit. Good sit. Okay. Uh, we'll talk more specifically about clicker training and how we're going to get other behaviors um, uh, when I see you on Saturday. All right, thank you.